focused on the drought concerns in the state. So April 1st is tomorrow and that's peak season for snowpack. Now another straight drought year is causing more concern for water resources. ABC 10 meteorologist Carly Gomez checks out to see how we're measuring up and also how conser conservationists hope to make an impact. Over the years, climate change went from a distant belief to knocking on our doorsteps. And this year's snowpack depth is concerning for researchers and conservationists. If we look at just the long term trend, we kind of went from over 100 inches of snow to about 80 inches of snow in the last several decades. But in the coming decades, if we don't do anything, we're looking at 20 inches of snow and that's up in elevation. That's at mid mountain at Palisades Tahoe. Heather Sigali with the Tahoe Environmental Research Center is working to share the Save Our Snow campaign, sharing the realities of the dwindling snowpack for not just skiers and snowboarders, but for all of us who rely on the snowpack for our reservoirs. A problem like climate change that is a slow moving crisis um, is the worst kind of problem because it's it leaves you not feeling like your individual action can do something, but we but we can each individually make a difference. The campaign asks us to pledge to lower our carbon footprint. By finding ways to emit less CO2 and greenhouse gases, we can at least attempt to slow the rate of our worsening snowpack. The California Department of Water Resources has measured the Central Sierra snow water equivalent at 13 inches. That's 43 percent of average for this date meaning we should have about 30 inches of snow water, but we don't. We can't lose hope. We have to make conscientious, conscientious choices, take action, and protect our winters to save our snow.